Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for July 2022, of course, all right? So if you enjoy this weekly tarot reading here today, Scorpio, don't forget to check out on the top right-hand corner of your screen. I'll leave a link to your monthly tarot reading. As well, darling, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates, Scorpio, all right? That's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, all right, Scorpio, I would appreciate if you were to give this video a like and subscribe. It helps out this tarot reading channel a lot and why wouldn't you want to join the family darling it's completely free all right so let's just get right into this here for you uh scorpio remember to check out more than just your sun sign when it comes to receiving zodiac tarot readings on youtube darling cater to your chart sun moon rising as well as your venus remember all right so scorpio we're going to be getting into three rows for you darling your first row is going to be covering your career and financial situation all right and then Scorpio darling in your second row we're going to be getting into your social life so your platonic relationships romantic it could just be just your social life honey all right um and then in your third row my beautiful Scorpio it, we're going to be covering over messages just that you need to be hearing at this time all right everything's changing constantly and, and so sometimes your spiritual team needs to get a message forward to you immediately darling all right but starting out this energy here for the week, Scorpio, we have the Five of Wands, all right? The Five of Wands. I know a lot of people are afraid of like the Tower energy or the Three of Swords. I personally do not like the Five of Wands, Scorpio, and I have a suspicion that you don't either. The Five of Wands deals with like, is the, uh, the sense of like overcoming conflicts. Because this is your overall energy for this week, Scorpio, I want to be celebrating you guys because this is probably the most ideal place that you want this to be having is this is going to be a week of where you are making a major breakthrough in all facets of your life. This is going to be a carrying over theme for your social life for your career like every aspect scorpio this week uh the f uh the actions that you take this week are going to help you overcome uh, a lot of burdens all right so maybe you've been having some conflict with people i already see with your relationship scorpio uh some of you guys are going to be mending your relationships with someone that you've been at a distance with all right in regards to your career in financial situation things are coming into balance very beautifully for you all right scorpio so let's just get right into this here for you your career and financial situation scorpio is the justice energy the world card with the four of cups stepping forward to you all right keep in remembering that this is all over encompassing uh overcoming obstacles here for you scorpio it feels as if things have just been out of balance for you it's like you've been you've been really grinding like i keep <laughs> i keep hustler keeps on coming to mind and then like any song that has the word hustler in it like you have been hustling scorpio i really want to be celebrating you guys because i feel like for many of you scorpios you haven't been really deterred by the obstacles that you've been dealt with you've continued to keep your eye on the prize right you've been continually focusing in on being like all right i'm gonna catch up on my financial situation some of you scorpios you might have been trying to reach a specific goal when it comes to an, an achievement in your career all right you've been really pushing pushing yourself but you're not getting the results that you've been hoping for right something has been out of balance but you haven't been able to figure out what it has been that's been keeping you out of balance scorpio and what I see for you guys this week is with this world energy, we'll know with clarifiers how this is going to be happening, Scorpio. But with that world energy being the final card in the major arcana, Scorpio, all right, um, this talks about the closure of cycles to begin new cycles in your life, Scorpio, all right? So something's going to be happening in regards to your career. I have like lotion under my hands, uh, nails I'm noticing right now, so if you're wondering why. But I feel like for you, Scorpio, like something's, uh, that period of struggle struggle or where it's just like you have been putting in so much energy with your career and not really getting anything out of it things are coming into balance now the justice is the scales darling right the libra and energy scorpio the scales are starting to turn in your favor now all right things are going to be starting to come back into balance with whatever is coming into completion here for you whatever it is scorpio it's been something that you haven't been able to see so i'm really interested to hear about what ends up being revealed for you this week now, in regards to your social life, Scorpio, this seems pretty solid here. Something I want to firstly take note of is the Two of Cups is the heart of y'all spread uh, for this uh, reading here today, obviously, uh, Scorpio. So definitely relationships seems to be a main focus for you guys this week, Scorpio. All right, so you guys have the Two of Cups here, Queen of Cups, as well as the Ace of, what is this? The Ace of Swords. All right. 
Scorpio, I get this sense for you where someone in your personal life is going to be coming forward to you with some type of idea. Now, it's going to be really dependent on like, obviously, for each of your personal lives, Scorpio, but it's just as if like someone, someone that, that is in your close circle is coming forward to you with an idea to help make a breakthrough um, for either you to for the relationship, Scorpio. Maybe there's been something that has been just out of balance, perhaps, Scorpio, with one of y'all's relationships. And I feel as if someone's just like, there just speaks on like the sense of awareness about some like uh, that someone gets in your life, Scorpio and they come forward to you and it's like um it's like a celebratory time here i'm definitely excited to get into clarifiers for that scorpio and then general terror messages coming in for you here you got my favorite minor arcana card darling all right six of wands seven of pentacles with the ten of cups coming in here success in the home life success fulfillment darling all right six of wands that's that fame and fortune but not everyone's trying to have that fame and fortune it's the card of just like celebrating like it's just like victorious you're having complete fulfillment with that ten of cups there all right you've been putting energy into uh the plants that you are hoping to have a beautiful harvest with right the seeds that you have been planting the hard work that you've been putting into your crops scorpio it's going to be paying off it's going to be paying off big time here all right your hard work this is literally the epitome of um your hard work is not only going to be getting recognized scorpio but it's through that recognition that extreme fulfillment happens for you that not only the sense of your own personal fulfillment uh overflows but also your you know in a sense where it's no longer like the uh the starving artist right there is just this sense of like finally coming into a completion because tens also represents completions uh miss tulips right behind there oh there you see her um represents completions as well it's like you finally did it scorpio all right you kept strong you continue to tend to your plants tend to your crops because even with all the obstacles that you've been having to deal with scorpio you been you have been putting in the work you have not been giving up even when like you felt as if like everything was working against you even like the people that you thought were going to be with you really weren't helping you at any point in time right maybe that's some of y'all's issues when it comes to relationships some of you guys as well scorpio had to put relationships on the back burner so you could put a focus in on developing something here all right for some of you guys this is just developing yourself scorpio all right for some of you guys that obstacle that five of wands that we were talking about that we've been talking about constantly because i always run my mouth scorpio this five of yeah <laughs> this five of wands i thought it wasn't for a moment this five of wands energy scorpio could be something that was internal for you like it was like the internal battle for you of where you still not giving up on your goals but you also have this crippling depression this crippling anxiety and so there's just like this period of time where it's just like trying to just keep everything afloat maybe for some of you scorpios you were not even too concerned about having forward progression for a while just as long as you were staying keeping your head above water you were doing good right but something's about to be changing for you now scorpio you're making this breakthrough now and no longer are you guys gonna have to be on this survival mode anymore because that's what i feel like is really going to be happening scorpio is like no longer are you in survival mode and now it's back to full on like the full throttle like full on thriving full on creation process full on uh having that social life full on um just success really for you in every single row that we have here but let's start clarifying for your first row here uh, scorpio your career uh your justice world and four of cups energy here and if naturally, of course, we get that judgment. Knight of Wands here with the chariot. Okay. Back of the deck energy is the magician. All right. This is really fabulous here, Scorpio. All right. This is happening at a very fast pace. You guys have been, you probably have been having this feeling for a while as well, Scorpio, because you guys are very intuitive. Like you had a plan here. This magician energy, this magician energy lets me know, Scorpio, that you've had a plan all along, darling. All right. And you were just waiting for the right time for things to come into fruition. You're waiting for the right moment. And I see with you guys now, Scorpio, Scorpio, uh, this week, as you start finally applying yourself again without having that crippling anxiety or just 
those obstacles that we were talking about, darling Scorpio, now that that's no longer becoming as relevant for you, you uh, went through that dark night of the soul period, essentially, Scorpio. I see the creation process just like booming for you. I see you just being greatly rewarded for um, you persevering, really. That's really what this is, Scorpio, is just admiring the uh, rewards for perseverance. All right, you're the example of that. <clears throat> Scorpio, let's take a look at your social life now, darling. All right, we have that Ace of Swords, Two of Cups with the Queen of Cups coming in here for you. So let's get a clarification on your social life. What's what's going to be happening here? Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, Two of Swords here. What is the back of the deck? Back of the deck energy is the Ten of Pentacles coming in here for you. Again, completions of cycles here. All right. I feel like when it comes to the home life here, when it comes to your social life, it feels as if for you, you've had to place some boundaries when it comes to somebody in your personal life here. It's like something needed, like a choice needed to be made with someone that you care about where you could still live your life, but... Ha like still have a, a functioning relationship that sounds this is oddly specific scorpio it's like you wanted to have someone part of your life but you also realized on some level that you couldn't self-sacrifice anymore you couldn't give more than what you were offering and even for some of you scorpios you couldn't even continue giving to this situation more than you already had, like as you have been like you had to, you have to pull there's a sense of needing to pull back all right and i feel as if for you scorpio this is like a sign for you to speak your piece speak what it is that you need to uh what's weighing heavy on you when it comes to a certain relationship in your life because i feel like this is something that uh mentally for you scorpio like it has just been really taxing i feel like this is more so of a message of just letting a scorpio know that whoever they engage with that they need to set that boundary with or just speaking their truth speaking their feelings with it's going to be received very uh, beautifully here all right and that's on if you have something to say something uh if you have something to say to the person scorpio on the flip side here i do see for the other aspects where it's just like someone coming in uh in your close circle uh scorpio i see it as good news but it's still this sense of like with that good news it like changes the dynamic of everything because of that two of swords lets me know where it's just like there's kind of like no going back like the sense of like make one choice or the other right does that make sense scorpio so it's like this sense of where, I mean, for some of you guys, it might be the sense of someone confessing their feelings in a romantic sense. Some of y'all might be like, the, you know, it's just, it's gonna, we can sit here all day, Scorpio, listing out situations, but it's just like, you know, you'll know which side it is for you, darling, right? My tarot readings are for general collaborative energies, right? So uh, let's get into this. Let's clarify your general predictions here, uh, general messages coming in here scorpio remembering that it was the seven of pentacles ten of cups with that six of wands Ooh, girl <laughs> ten of swords you've gotten like every single ten besides the ten of wands i believe ten of swords five of swords with the king of wands coming in here for you so scorpio this is it <clears throat> right you fought the battle you did what needed to be done five of cups all right it's the sense for you scorpio like there is this sense of bittersweetness that i get for you there's a sense for you of where what it is that you have to it's like by you finally closing a chapter of your life of like allowing certain type of painful situations exist longer than they probably should have all right by you finally taking charge there's still like this unfortunate sense of bittersweet sense of like sometimes you having to lay that, out that boundary with certain individuals like um or having to just make choices in your life because some of you guys this is like life decisions where it's just like maybe some of you you're just planning a great shift essentially here but it's like something that you personally feel good about but you might sound crazy if you were to vocalize it it's like 
you're you have it's something that you feel like you have to do but then you're sitting in your head about being like being like uh, am i making the wrong decision here like you're starting to overthink it here uh scorpio all right you're making a breakthrough right now right and so when you're ha going through a breakthrough or you're going through an awakening process you know there's so much terminology that happens <laughs> in the spirituality niche scorpio like whatever you want to call it all right when you go through that process, things are going to look different. Things are going to taste different, smell different, right? You're going to have a different calling than what you were originally called to before you had that clearing, like that clarity that comes with the uh, breakthrough. All right, Scorpio. So whatever decision that you are feeling called to be making, darling, honor it. The more that you sit on it, the, you're just going to spook yourself out, I feel. So honor that feeling now. I don't know where that came from, Scorpio, but take it as you will. Step into your power, though. First quarter moon in Aries, honey. All right. Some of y'all dealing with an Aries by chance. Just as a side note, the message itself is still relevant, but I was just curious. Stepping into your power. I don't need to talk about that too much, uh, I feel, Scorpio, because I feel like we... I was just on my soapbox for the past, like, three minutes discussing that. So let's get your animal oracle card here, Scorpio, to wrap up your tarot reading. Hopefully you found this uh, weekly reading helpful to you, Scorpio. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe, honey. All right. If you've already been here this long, might as well. Take some time out of your usual and spend your life in solitude, darling. All right. Very relevant here. Very relevant. But uh, Scorpio, that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you, darling. Okay. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this tarot reading for you. Hopefully something resonated. If you want to book a private reading with me, Scorpio, my website's linked down below, darling. All right, next to my social media, simplyvelka.com. All right, and my social medias are just Instagram and TikTok, darling. Simply Velka, same as here. All right, Scorpio, but I love you so much, and hopefully I could connect with you sometime in the near future. This was an absolute pleasure to do, and uh, also remember, I did your monthly tarot reading. All right, so bye, Scorpio.